Hi, y'all. I am tuckered. Yesterday, I did three things in public. <laughs> uh, Mom and I went to the farmer's market here in town, and um, I got some local honey, and it's, we were there like an hour. Not a big deal. It wasn't hot. It was very moderate temperatures. And then I dropped her off at the house, and I went to Walmart. I had some necessities after being off-grid for three weeks that I needed to restock. No big deal. However, it was the first Saturday of the month of a four-day weekend, and the place was packed. And I was in Walmart for an hour. So I came home, put my groceries away, and took a nap. Um, and then Mom and I drove out to Glens Ferry. A friend of mine, um, they were having a fundraiser for her and her family. There was some tragic things that happened and she's my friend and I was in town so I drove out and we spent I don't know four or five hours out there but most of it was sitting or standing in line like to get food or to bid on silent auction things I did win two silent auction things and um, they're marvelous um, one was from the new hardware store in town. It used to be hometown hardware and now it's new, new owners. So I need to go back there and, and thank them for their donation. Um, I think I paid $50 for it and I got way more than $50 worth of merchandise. So thank you for that. Um, and then I got to talk to my friend and that was awesome and let her know that she's loved and I support her. And if she needs anything, I'm here. Then we drove home, of course, and it was slightly rainy and dark, and again, no big deal, but I'm not pulling my trailer, so it's much easier to drive in the rain and in the dark. Got home, but, you know, chatted with mom a little bit, came back to my house, put the, I had a mouse in my house a little while ago, a mouse in my house. And so I um, had washed all of the dishes that I knew the mouse had touched in mom's dishwasher. Because that'll get it clean, right? So I come back to my house and I go to put all that away and I find fresh mouse turd. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I um, had some still wool that you has the blue soap on it. And I dismantled that and applied it to several places that had holes that I could see under the sink. And I took the panels off underneath the oven and the fridge. And the one... There, I couldn't access anything under the fridge. It's just a fridge right there. and But under the stove, I could access another little hole. Well, I'll access two or three. And then um, the cupboard that's next to my microwave, there's a, a hole that, where the um, wires go through to plug in. And I'd found a mouse turd up there. So I'm like, no, that doesn't, that doesn't work for me. So I put um, the still wool up there, too and washed down the shelves and put all the, the stuff away. When I finally went to bed, I hurt everywhere. My hair hurt, my toenails, my eyelids, my shoulders, my neck, right through here. So sore, especially right here, my sternum. And, oh my gosh, I'm just so sore. So I went to bed and I slept for probably five hours, or I mean 10 hours I was in bed sleeping or attempting to sleep. This morning I have a raspy throat and I'm still sore. Not as sore, but I just, you know, why I mention this is the social security says, no, you can work. You're fine. You can go out and work. I'm like, no, really? I can't. I can only do small things. Doing, well, technically four because I cleaned sections of my RV that I haven't, you know, ever, you know, deep clean, kind of get rid of the mouse poop and prevent, hopefully, more mouse invasions. Um, I know, put soap in there, but that doesn't keep them from getting in. You got to block the holes. So anyway, um, I'm tired and I'm sore and I don't know why Social Security thinks I can work. I can barely function today. I got up, I got dressed, I fed the dog. I haven't even really taken care of myself today. I haven't fed me. Um, I did take a shower last night, which helped relax me a little bit and, you know, work out some of the kinks, but I'm not doing shit today.
And that's okay. I'm all right with that. Back in the day, um, you know, it's like, you know, power through and work through. But no, not anymore. I need to respect the fact that my body said, no, stop. Just chill. Read a book today. It's kind of overcast. It might rain a little bit. It's cooler. I had to wear long pants today. Um, I'm not doing anything strenuous. I'll read. Um, I've got a lot to do on my computer, of course, with the family story. But I think it's important that you listen to your body. And your body says you're tired and you're sore. Then you just don't continue anymore. We're we're not young anymore. We're Gen Xers. I'm an OG Gen X, 65. And February 65. So I'm like seriously OG. OG. And I'm not young anymore. And cancer treatments beat me up. And I acknowledge that. But I am alive. And I... I'm not kicking today. I don't think I'll even kick a pebble. <laughs> but, oh, that hurt my ribs. I'm so sore. <laughs> oh, Why do we have pain sensors in our eyelids? <laughs> I love y'all. Thank you for being here with me. I know only about seven people are going to watch this and nobody's going to thumbs up it. Um, I don't know. Today, I don't give a shit. I just, I want you to take care of yourself and... Let me take care of me. Maybe tomorrow I'll do something.